Today, the cast were filming in Q's laboratory, where Bond is fitted out with the latest range of secret weapons for yet another dangerous assignment. Bond himself, actor Timothy Dalton, received last-minute instructions on what to say to royalty. His co-star, Maryam Darbo, found a quiet corner, and still they waited. Finally, behind schedule, the visitors arrived. The premiere of the film is likely to be in aid of the Prince's Trust, and the royal couple wanted to know about all the stunts they were seeing in the finished film. One was demonstrated for him. Standing at a safe distance, Prince Charles was shown how to trigger a ghetto blaster radio armed with a rocket. <laughs> The next location was a mock-up of the villain's villa in Tenerife, perfect in every detail. Action! Right down to the inevitable sword fight. The film has been welcomed as the saviour of the studio. Without it, about half Pinehead's labour force would have been laid off. Now jobs are secure until next spring, though today's royal visit wasted two hours of the tight filming schedule. That's a loss of £13,000. Some of the loss went on breakages. The special bottles used in fight scenes were handed round. They're made of sugar glass and, as Prince Charles discovered, are perfectly harmless. <laughs> <laughs> so the princess was invited to choose her target. The couple were offered a complete set of the bottles to take home with them. And Lucas was a 10 by the studios.